Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to share this message because I read it over and I agree with it a hundred percent. Now I've been weary of sharing this lady's messages in the past that come through letters from Dawn. I'll tell you why. A few years back some of you will remember Minister Paul disappeared. There was this Miss Sophie and her niece that came on with, uh, well, they came up with, had a video that he had been taken and was in danger and all this. Well, so others said the same thing. I believe it to this day it happened and then they let him go because there was so much mystery around that and one day he came up finally showed his face on video and he had a tooth missing he said there I wanted to show you that they took my tooth for Jesus But I do not believe this Miss Sophie is the same one. I tried to figure out uh, who the other one was. They're, they don't spell them the same. This one spells it all together. I do not believe it is the same person. I do believe the other one was more of the occult. Okay, having said that, let me share this with you. And I'm addressing it to all the once saved, always saved camp who continues to lead people to hell. Tim Henderson and Barry Scarborough and anybody else who follows them. They have thousands of followers. So many people want to believe once you are saved, your sins cannot take you to hell because you're always saved. Jesus gave me a message that told me once saved, always saved was a lie from the pit of hell. Listen to this. And I want you to share this with everybody you know because there's still, I believe, more of them than us. And don't be afraid to speak up. If you lose them as a friend, so what? Who is your best friend? You better say Jesus. You have to love him more than anybody on the face of the earth. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And stop following the people preaching the lies. Because if they can't even understand that we have to repent and do good deeds for one another after all Jesus taught, they have degrees. Those two I mentioned have biblical degrees. What did they teach them? I'd like to know. Clearly it wasn't the word of God. Moving on. This is part two of three. See, I think I didn't share part one. I don't know, or maybe I was sick in the hospital, accidentally deleted it, I don't know. But this is dated February 10th, 2020, from Miss Sophie. There are many things you children do not fully grasp and understand, but you must look to the root cause of all of man's problems. It is sin 
sin, sin. Oh, I'm sorry. I have on my old glasses. I kind of got tired of lowering my head and the other one's falling off. I need to retape them. All right. The root cause of all of man's problems. It is sin, period. Sin is the cause. If I sit them just right, I can see just fine. Sin permeates, and where sin is, Satan is. When the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has been removed, what happens? Look into your own lives. What happens when you allow sin to dominate your lifestyles? What good will come of this? You children scoff at repentance, believing this is not needed. It is this unbelief that takes most down in the end. I cannot look at sin. Cannot have anyone in filthy stained garments enter in. I am pure. I am holy. But I am expected to let all in while they are covered in sin with no desire to repent? If any of you believe you will get in dressed in filth, you are sadly mistaken and been misguided. Repentance is mandatory for all. Daily you err. You sin in your thoughts, your words, deeds, and actions. You must be washed daily and humble yourselves. Realize you are not infallible and open your eyes to truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Without me, there is no life everlasting. Come out from under the heretical doctrine of once saved, always saved. Do you not have free will to choose righteous living or to live as thou wilt? The doctrine of OSAS, I don't know if they abbreviated that for the typing purposes or if the Lord said it like that. But it's, it's typed out as OSAS. Is taking more people to hell than you can ever imagine. Oh, I can imagine, all right. Don't you take a bath every once in a while? Don't you get worldly dirt on you once in a while imagine all the sins piled up on a person this is me talking just imagine all the sins piled up on a person who never repents I think of these people around here who believe that I went to their Sunday school class one time it's taught by a man and that was a man that believes that and it was brought up and one of the women agreed and she died about a month later beautiful woman and I think she had to be 90 she was Baptist probably saved when she was seven they push that on children you know in their Sunday school classes and Wednesday night programs. My children were saved when they were seven and nine. Baptized right after. It doesn't stick.
because they don't know what they're doing. They really don't. They're not taught. It, it, it may stick. They may actually understand the principle behind it. But they're not taught to get into scriptures. Oh, yeah, they're taught a scripture. We're going to memorize this scripture. And they teach them a scripture. Do they teach them the meaning? No. They pick out a scripture and for a month, they taught them how, how to memorize that scripture. And whoever could memorize that scripture at the end of the month, they got a star or something. So, yeah, they're being taught crumbs. <sighs> Let me get back to the message. I'm so disgusted with the devil and his lies. Taking more people to hell than you can ever imagine. All have sinned, but even a backslider returns and falls on their face in true remorse. How many have made the decision that they would rather die in their sins and perish. Anybody? You think anybody would rather die in their sins and perish than to repent? Is he being sarcastic? I think so. My arms are always open to receive one with a contrite heart. Rest shall perish. Rest shall perish. Maybe it's the rest shall perish. I have given plenty of time, plenty of warnings, much love, calling out to so many. My judgments will continue. Some I allow from the evil one. Satan and others are solely by my hand. I use evil for my purposes so you will see and comprehend the difference between good and evil. This is how many will be saved. It is only through the worst of times, through much anguish and despair, and through tears bringing one to brokenness, when you realize you can't fix yourself or your lives, men cannot do it for you. You need a Savior. And I am the one that lived, died, and rose again for you. You need me. There is absolutely no other channel. God, small g, mystic or diviner that can save you. Yahushua Hamashiach is the answer. Many will eventually come to this realization as the world crumbles around you. You cannot channel spirits to help you unless you want Satan to take your soul to hell as he manipulates and plays with your mind. That's what will help happen if you try to channel spirits. False gods are made of stubble and stone, worthless. Mystics, diviners, witches, Warlocks are all walking with Satan, have nothing to do with any of this. 
get rid of Ouija boards, stay away from seances, stay away from everything that allows Satan in. Demons are actively at work taking over many souls. That's how it ends. So, that's, I'm sure, by Yeshua HaMashiach, because he already said he is the answer. Yeshua HaMashiach is the answer. That is the title of it. So, I pray that everybody who already believes right will consider sharing this with somebody they know and love dearly who also believes in once saved, always saved, or perhaps they're into the occult, seances, mystics, so forth. That proves it's not the other Miss Sophie because she was. Anyway, I'll end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Our Yahushua HaMashiach, I plead his blood over this video. The internet connection. My computer. Over each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connection, so we can stay together till we're out of here. Please share this. Help this word get around. I do believe it is from the Lord. Take it to Him if you don't. Okay? All right. God bless you all. I will talk to you later. <laughs>